Hey everybody, welcome to Yarn Talk. This is our special episode, 100% dedicated to everything we saw and experienced and loved at the National Needle Arts Association trade show. Today I'm going to talk about capes and ponchos. And I'm Allison and I'm going to cover kimono shaped sweaters. To kick it all off, I'm Heidi and this was my very first TNNA so I want to give you guys a look at what it was like for a first timer at the conference. We recently got back from the National Needle Arts Association's Needle Arts Trade Show where we got to meet tons of people and see some of the best our industry has to offer. This is a look at what it's like at TNNA. This year the show was in Columbus, Ohio. This was my first TNNA ever and it did not disappoint. The show kicked off with a big fashion show featuring dozens of designs using new yarns and interesting techniques. Throughout the show, you were able to take classes designed to help grow your business. Most importantly though, TNNA involved lots and lots of walking, particularly on the trade show floor. The floor featured tons of amazing vendors, all the yarn and needle companies you know and love, designers, spinning wheel manufacturers, loom manufacturers, and more. The big thing you do besides walking everywhere at TNNA is networking, a lot. Alice and Leah and I spent tons of time hanging out with fellow designers, companies we have or would love to work with, and there was a bunch of delicious food and drinks to enjoy at the hotel and nearby restaurants while we were at it. All in all, I came home super tired, but super inspired to cast on my next knitting project. My favorite project that I saw at TNNA was a beautiful little cardigan called Midtown by Karina Spencer from a book called Midwestern Knits. This cardigan has beautiful textured stitches, geometric color work, and it has an open front which makes it really easy to wear. And I especially love how Karina styled the sweater for her photos. a long time looking at the yarns all over TNNA floor and the favorite one that I found was Barocco's Maya yarn which isn't out yet. It's a chain knot yarn that's popping up all over the place. It is a cotton and baby alpaca blend which holds the chain knot really well and I think it's going to do a lot for your stitch def definition. So keep an eye out for it coming soon. Available in 11 sizes, the Carnelian Tunic by Faina Goberstein features a bottom-up A-line construction with bands of colorwork at the shoulders and hem. The eye-catching colorwork is accomplished by using slip stitch patterns in three colors and the resulting texture bags to be admired. Knit mostly in stockinette, the body decreases to the armholes, at which point the sleeves are constructed and the tunic is finished with another section of colorwork. This tunic immediately stood out to all of us at the TNNA fashion show and was presented by Anzula. One of my favorite parts about TNNA is the fashion show because you get a sneak peek at what is going to be popular coming out for fall. So you get to see the yarns that are going to be in, you get to see the designs that are coming in, and um, really get a feel for the real knitting season that's about to come. Yes. We saw so many fun designs, uh, really cool sweater shapes, and a lot of capes and ponchos as well as kimono style sweaters, which were really cool. Big fan of the kimono style sweater. Yeah, well you are you are really big into capes. Yes, um, I, I'm a huge cape fan. No secret that I'm all about that cape life. 
Uh, I designed a cape for Hollow Knit's winter collection last year, and I love doing that, and it turned out really well. I'm very happy with it. Mm -hmm. And that really opened me up to capes, and now I wear a cape with everything. I, I love <laughs> the shape of it, and I love how easy it is. And I think that's why people love ponchos so much, too, is yeah. you don't have to design it. You don't have to, like, style yourself too much. You just throw it on and, and go, and it provides a lot of warmth. Um, all of these all of these sweater shapes do yeah. um, with just a real ease. Yes, very comfortable. Um, it gives you sort of like a whole outfit in one piece, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. So one thing that I get a lot is what exactly is the difference between a poncho and a cape? Yes, that's a very good question. Thank you for asking. Um, a poncho is essentially a piece of fabric with a hole in it for your head. So it can be made in a lot of different ways. It could be as simple as just a big rectangle which makes it very knitter friendly and we did indeed see a lot of ponchos on the TNNA runway that were really nice. Um, a cape is usually a little more structured, it has a little more design going on, there's usually a front closure, um, or as you've seen on a lot of runways and stuff with the celebrities that have been wearing capes, there's been so many capes, like in the last year, it's been amazing. Um, a lot of them have been attached to their dress, so it's just sort of part of the whole look. Yeah, so it's not a warming outfit, it's more of like a flare yes, part. Like of a superhero. Their, yeah, like a superhero cape. <laughs> yeah. um, but w when you when you go to knit something or when you go to like your everyday life, um, it's more of a, you just throw it on and, and mm -hmm. go. And go. Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. <laughs> so you were looking at all the kimono style sweaters. I was, um, which I think is like an easy way to get, like if you're not comfortable with a poncho or a cape, kimono kind of marries the idea of the classic cardigan shape and the cape because it has uh, a sleeve, even though that sleeve is very wide and it has a wide body, um, it has more of a sweater shape. It's easier to wear in the fact that it is more of a cardigan so that you have fronts, back, um, where with sometimes with capes, um, the front sits weird. Some people have a hard time um, putting that on and going. Uh, with, a, with a kimono style, it's just your regular cardigan, which is a little bit of a wider base for body and a wider sleeve and, per, and sometimes a shorter sleeve as well. And we did see um, great kimonos on the TNNA runway. Yeah, those are so cute. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them have been popping up on Ravelry and in magazine, knitwear magazines too, so I think that's the shape of sweater that's going to be coming out this fall. Cool. So much fun. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks everybody for tuning in for another episode of Yarn Talk. Thank you to everyone at TNNA. We had a great time. The show was wonderful. Uh, thanks to all the designers who made amazing designs that have inspired us for this episode. And let us know what you think by using hashtag Yarn Talk on Twitter and Facebook. And leave a comment here and be sure to subscribe to Yarn Talk. Bye guys!